Hello to you all. So, it's been a while since I've picked up this uh, camera. Um, but here we are. We are now four days away um, from me jetting off on the Disney Cultural Representative Program to work at Epcot um, for a whole year. So a whole year of me in Florida. Um, as I say, I'll be working in Epcot um, at the UK Pavilion, working in the role of merchandise. Um, and I plan to take you all along with me for the whole year. Um, I've got no schedule as to when vlogs will be going out. Um, they'll just be going out as and when I can. Um, but I want to take you all along with me, show you what I'm doing, keep you posted. Um, and yeah, when I, as I say, we're four days away. Um, and now it's time to pack. Um, so come along with me. Um, I hope you enjoy this year together. Um, and we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some laughs. Um, so yeah, come along, follow me, and let's go. So at the moment, everything is kind of here. There's a few other bits and bobs which need to be packed as well. Um, but those will be going in over the next couple of days. Um, it's kind of hard to know what to sort of pack. Um, I've kind of got all my t-shirts. I've got a load of shorts, um, bits like that. Um, and like I say, it's just kind of... It's kind of difficult to know what to pack for a whole year. Um, so yeah, I mean, some of this might not go in yet. Um, I am, however, using vat packs to pack everything in. Um, obviously, it's going to weigh the same weight, but hopefully it should mean I get a bit more space um, to allow just a few extra bits and bobs. Um, I should say I am flying with Virgin Atlantic um, from Heathrow. Um, so yeah, so I get 23 kilograms of luggage. Also hand luggage, I get 10 kilograms. So if a few bits and bobs have just got to go in hand luggage, then so be it. Um, so yeah, let's try and get this stuff in vat packs and see where we're at. done um, I've got majority of everything in the suitcase so as you can see that's been all sack, um, vacuum packed um, and I got sort of bits and bobs all in this side shoes um, and other sort of bits and bobs as well um, I just got a couple more things which need to go in so those are just going to go in this this one here and then my hand luggage is pretty much sorted as well um, this is Charlie He's been with me since day dot, so he's coming with me. Um, so yeah, so pretty much everything is there, and I got my just backpack with sort of electrical bits and bobs which I want to take with me, uh, my laptop stuff like that. So, so yeah, um, weight wise, pretty much in and around twenty three kilograms, which is what I'm allowed. Although the hand luggage one is I think six kilograms, so I've still got another four which I can transfer some bits over if I need to. Um, so particularly the one which I've just got some more bits to go in, um, that could probably get that packed up and I'll put that in the hand luggage. Um, so that way I'm not going ridiculously over. So, so yeah, um, I'm pretty much done. Pretty much there, I think. I'm sure something else will come up between now and two days time. Um, when I travel up to Heathrow. So I'm traveling up on Thursday the 4th of May um, and then I fly on Friday the 5th of May. So I just want just to get up there the day before just so I'm there, chill out, don't have to panic about getting up stupidly early in the morning to go and head up from, from Somerset to, to Heathrow. So, And then as of uh, May 8th, I start moving into accommodation so I will be staying in accommodation at uh, Flamingo Crossings uh, Village, which is where all the Disney programs cast members stay. I'll be there for a year, 
and so I check in there Monday the 8th and then um, I got some training sessions, some, some document sessions which um, I have to complete uh, on the Monday, Tuesday and the Wednesday so Three days later Hello everyone um, So today it is Thursday the 4th of May and it is what I would call pre-travel day so um, I'm heading up to Heathrow today um, with my parents um, it's currently half past ten I think we're gonna go at about midday um, so yeah so we're heading up to Heathrow um, to check in at the hotel overnight and then I fly tomorrow morning um, it's come around so quickly um, could do with another week um, so yeah but um, I have upgraded um, my ticket so I am now sitting in premium um, which is which is good because it means that I can now take two um, hold baggage uh, bits of luggage uh, onto the flight which is very very helpful because I really really was struggling with my main baggage I was definitely going to be overweight and I couldn't fit everything in that I needed to fit in so I felt I'd treat myself so I thought why not less upgrade so I've upgraded to premium um, so I'll be um, um, so yes yeah, so I've got two pieces of uh, luggage coming with me so I've got this bigger um, piece of luggage here so my Mickey suitcase which has got all my sort of main bits and bobs in and then I got this smaller one um, which is kind of overflowing that and then I've also got hold luggage um, which has just mainly got clothes in it for the next um, for the next kind of three days whilst I'm um, staying at Pop Century Resort so it just means I don't have to really go into my um, other pieces of luggage because they are backpacked all the rest of my clothes so um, I've put everything I need in the small hold one and then I got my um, rucksack as well, which has got all my paperwork and stuff in. So, so yeah, so it's all go. We go today. Um, and yeah, it's finally here. It's finally here. It's taken far too long. Um, but we are here and we are finally going to go and be a cast member at Walt Disney World Resort. Um, I'm excited. I don't know if I'm nervous. I've kind of got those fuzzy butterflies in my tummy. So um, whether that's nerves or just me being me. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I got some people that I've been talking to over the past few weeks um, who are starting the same, or past few months, sorry, who are starting the same time as me. So um, I think one flies the same day as me, but from Belfast and another from Manchester. So, um, so yeah. Looking forward to it, and I guess really to say is let's go. Terminal 4, uh, we're staying at the Premier Inn. Um, luckily, I have a runway view, so at least I can watch some planes taking off. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we're here for one night and then we go across to Terminal 3 in the morning. Um, it took us two and a half hours, three hours. I think we left at 12 o'clock. We've checked in literally dead on three o'clock, so that's, uh, that's really good going. So, yeah, so we're here. Um, so as you all know, I mean, you've seen before, Premier Inn. Um, this is the room. So you've got your nice big bed, coffee, tea making area. You come in there and then you've got the toilet just in through there. So you've all seen Premier Inn rooms before, I'm sure. So I'm not going to go and give you the whole Premier, Le Premier Inn spiel. Um, but yeah, lovely, nice little view out through there. Which is nice. 
So yeah, so we're here. Um, I'm probably going to pop over to Terminal 4 later just to see where we got to get the tube and that from for uh, the morning to head over to Terminal 3. And then we go from there. So we're just going to chill out this evening. Um, and yeah, just have a nice time with the family before I head off for a year. Approximately 10 hours later. Good morning all. So today is the day. Um, so it's Friday. Um, it's currently 7.38 in the morning. Um, and we're getting ready to head over to the airport. Um, doesn't feel real right now. Um, to me it just feels like I'm going on holiday for two weeks. So yeah, it just feels a bit weird. Excited, yes. Nervous. I don't know. You know, sort of mixed. Um, so yeah, so we'll be heading over to the airport shortly. They've got strikes at Heathrow today. So they are advising you to turn up um, earlier than normal. So we're heading over there. Um, probably about quarter past eight to get sort of over to there. So sort of between quarter to eight and nine o'clock. Um, I checked in last night, so all I got to do is just drop bags off. So uh, not too much really to do. And then breeze on through to um, security and uh, departures. So whether I'll film much over at the um, sort of pre-departures, because um, I'll be with my parents, so I'll be saying goodbye to them, um, etc. So I don't think I'll probably film much um, with them. But yeah. Come and follow along, we're gonna have a good laugh and uh, let's go. to snag myself a little upgrade to um, first class so um, I went on to my booking this morning and I was upgraded to first class so I'm not complaining um, so I've I'm currently sat in the Virgin clubhouse lounge at Heathrow so it's all a little bit crazy so I'm just kind of taking it all in and looking forward to this even more now so um, it's just all a little crazy all a little crazy so but it's currently just gone 10 30 and I'm just sat out by the planes and just chilling out. It'd be rude not to have had a cider. I've had a cider already. Um, and yeah, it's just, just I'm just taking it in. I'm just enjoying it all. So, excuse if there's not much filming. Um, so yeah. Wow, crazy. <laughs>
Hello everyone. So we are here. We are at Pop Central Resort in Walt Disney World. So apologies for the lack of filming on the plane through the airport, etc. Um, again, I think it was just a little bit overwhelmed with everything. I surprisingly got an upgrade to first class um, on the plane so it was just a little bit sort of ah uh, you know it was just taking it all in things like that so um, yeah excuse the lack of anything really um, but anyway it was unexpected but fantastic um, yeah it was brilliant so anyway I'm here I've landed, I'm in Pop Century Resort, and it's one of the newer rooms, so here we are. Excuse the mess on the bed already, I've been having a little lie down. Um, so as you come in, this one here is a pull down bed. Um, and then you come in, you've got your, there's a fridge there, and then you've got the sort of um, teas, coffee area. And then you got the TV, um, which actually does not have Walt Disney World Resort TV on it. Fuming. So it's got nothing to do with any of the part times, anything like that. So I don't know where that's gone. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but it's not there. Gutted. So anyway, that's a lovely bed, lovely Mickey art. That's just awesome absolutely love that and then you come through into the bathroom which the switch is there hello um and then you've got a lovely walk-in shower now um so there's no baths anymore all the toiletries are mounted to the wall as everybody knows um so yeah unless i'm going crazy no safe but anyway that's the resort that's the room i am going to go and have a chilled evening tonight i'm probably just gonna pop down to the um food court um just to get some food in yes we are here we are here i'm ready to start four to six weeks later and here we are many many weeks later um so i've been here now for six weeks and hello everyone again um sorry that uh this video has taken so long to go out um basically i've just been living in the moment uh living in uh just getting used to life here in florida um spending time with new friends um, and just sort of living in the moment and yeah so basically the past six weeks have just been a complete blur um, I'm loving every single minute of it it's so much fun um, I've made some amazing friends done some pretty cool things uh, over the past uh, it's like I say six weeks um, and yeah I'm just enjoying it it's so much fun um, the weather right now ridiculously hot um i'm talking i mean it, it it feels like 40 odd degrees um i mean the daytime temperatures are hitting about sort of 35 i think at the moment um but yeah i'm here i'm settled and i'm loving every single minute of it um and like i say apologies for this taking so long but i hope that i can get back to taking the camera with me again um, and starting to do some vlogging um, and taking you on this on this trip this journey um, and yeah so if any of you are coming out i work at the uk pavilion in epcot um, i work merchandise so that's anywhere from the sports shop at the front right through to the toys um, and then over at the tea shop the opposite side um, so if any of you are coming out and if any of you are about, that's where I will be. Pop in, 
say hello. I'm always happy to say hi to anyone, to have a chat. Um, so yeah. So I just want to share some some pictures, a little sort of minute video of just uh, things that have gone on the last month. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Um, give it a watch. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, comment down below. Like, subscribe. And uh, let's get this uh, all underway now. Um, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.